Okay, the next knot I'm going to show you is the last one. Um, it's the strainer knot, and I'm going to be using some Hayes 108 strainers um, and a pair of pliers. They should be the only fencing tools you need. A lot of people will try and sell you fence straining products that cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars, um, and you know, five dollars a knot and all this sort of stuff. You don't need them. Mm -hmm. All you need is a decent pair of strainers and the ability to do this one knot that I'm going to show you now. Okay, so here we've got our two pieces of wire. Um, you can see that I'm going to be straining the top. I would do this last. You always strain the wires at the bottom first, because as you strain, obviously the fence creep, the fence posts creep in towards each other, and if you start at the top, it ends up slack by the time you get to the bottom. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my strainers on this shorter wire here. So I'm going to join them on, and I'm going to put the wire into that cam, squeeze it tight, and as I pull on that wire, tighter and tighter, it just gets, it just jams in tighter and tighter. You need about this much slack wire as a minimum at this end of the strainers. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get the other end of my strainers, and I'm going to put the chain on them, and put the chain into one of these claws, and that allows me to run the other end of the strainers out. Now I'm going to push them together, put the wire as tight as I can between the jaws, and then squeeze the jaws shut as I did last time, and now the strainers are locked onto the fence, and I'm now joining the fence together into one unit. To tighten the wire up, all I have to do is walk these alternating feet up the chain. Now you can put a fair bit of strain on a fence, but you want to be careful, depending on the size of the wire that you're working with, that you don't over tighten it. That's the next stage. Now we're going to come to do the knot. So here we've got our two pieces of wire. You can see that it's strained up there and it's strained, it's fairly tight here. What we want to do now is put a knot just behind the strainers that stop the wire losing any tension when I release the strainers off the, off the fence. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this short section that's in the handle piece and I'm going to bend that over to make a loop. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this wire, which is held up the other end of the chain over there. I'm going to try and pull it as tight as I can. And in my usual fashion, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it through the loop like that and pull it as tight as I can. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a slight bend in it, not too tight and I am going to twist over the end first, so over the slack end first. I must never come the other way, I must never go over the tightened wire, I must always start by going over the slack end first. Once I've done that, I'm going to twist that round twice. two full turns. Then I can tighten this up and pull the end of my loop that I first made straight up. Once I've done that, I'm just going to make a crank handle in this wire and I'm going to finish it off by twisting it around a few more times. Three or four should do it. Now, once again, this is high tensile wire. I've bent it in that direction. If I twist my tail around 90 degrees and bring it up in that direction, it'll snap straight off. The same with this one. If I bring this wire and bend it over in that direction, if I then twist it around at 90 degrees to my original bend, it will snap straight off as well. And there I am left with my strainer knot assembly. Now the beauty of this knot is that I don't have a lot of slack in the wire. 
So when I take my strainers back down the chain, I only lose about a link of tension. So you tend to over tighten your fence by that a link to make up for it. And you'll see that now I have a fully strained knot and I can simply knock the other end of the strainers off and that'll fall off the wire. And there I have my fully strained fence. I haven't had to spend $5 on a gripple. I haven't had to spend $2 on a crimp. By the time you do that a hundred times, you've spent a lot of money that you don't need to. It's a really good plan to learn how to tie this knot and do it really well. Thanks guys. I hope this has been useful for you.